Hey everybody, it's Sunday night. Um, I had a, a thought, a picture, a word come to me today at church. I thought I'd share it. Basically, it was about being empty containers or full containers and how we're all basic, we're vessels. We're designed as these vessels that are designed to be filled with something, right? Whether it's um, the Holy Spirit, demonic spirits, or just a bunch of our self, our soulish self, and um, or combos of the of those three. Um, but I think you know, obviously, God wants us to be vessels for His Spirit, and um, that's part of His design. You know, when His Holy Spirit comes and lives inside of us, when we believe in Jesus and invite Holy Spirit to live within us, greater things can we do than even Jesus did. We can heal the sick. We can raise the dead. We can speak the truth in love and set the captives free because, um, you know, the truth shall set us free. So, and people perish for lack of knowledge. So having, being a vessel with the Holy Spirit is, I think, just amazing. It's the ultimate. Um, but we have battle, you know, on earth. And I think a lot of people are deceived and they don't realize that um, the things that they're saying, that they're spending their time on, that they're spending their money on, that they're the people they're fellowshipping with and the things they're doing can potentially be opening up the door to the demonic spirits and inviting those inside of them. Um, again, we're, we're empty vessels designed, we're not empty, but we're designed to be filled with something. So we have a choice. You know, Jesus is a gentleman. Holy Spirit is a gentleman. He doesn't push himself on anybody. But um, we we get to invite Holy Spirit to live in us when we believe in Jesus, when we put our faith in Jesus. It's the gift. And there's so many gifts of the Spirit and fruit of the Spirit that are so beautiful. But um, there's an Indian saying that says, you know, there's two dogs, a bad dog and a good dog. And the question is, you know, which dog would win in a, in a battle, in a fight? And the answer is... The dog you feed more so I say that to you guys as a challenge just to going back to you know are you feeding your spirit more are you feeding the Holy Spirit are you in the word are you in community are you in fellowship are you or are you spending more time on Instagram more time on Facebook more time on snapchat looking at things that maybe are feeding your flesh not feeding the spirit and are or are you are you fellowshipping with the right people not I'm not saying this to be legalistic or religious um, Jesus hung out with all types of people, but he, he also had the strength. <laughs> he was God, you know, incarnate. So we need to make sure we're filled up with the Holy Ghost in the Word of God, rooted and grounded, that we have a strong fellowship around us, strong community, so that when we go out into the world, we're filled up and we're strong. So, um, yeah, the dog that you feed more is the dog that's going to win the battle. So I encourage you guys, you know, as, as vessels, to choose what you put in into your body, into your soul, um, whom you invite in, in into your life, and, and just use wisdom. Okay, I, I felt like that was for somebody today. I hope, hope that blesses somebody. God bless you. Have a good night.